So, the rest of the stuff finally came in. We have the uh, 300 and, excuse me, 350 foot HDMI cables, and then I just got a USB hub from Staples because my other one hasn't come in yet. So I'm just gonna use that one for the time being. Um, and the other, other uh, equipment is, oh, light's not on. Is here so I've got my um, actually that's a extra USB or HDMI cable which is also uh, th um, um, braided a braided HDMI cable that came in the mail super late um, this is like for my previous purchase and I forgot I had it because I wound up canceling the order but the guy sent it anyway um, I have my adapters here I've got my USB cable I've got my external sound card my additional adapters are in here and all my velcro to organize all this so finally i can start loading this machine up um on the shelf and making sure that uh and there's a bunch of trash down there so i gotta clean that up before i put everything up but uh i think we are ready to get started so let's go so let me show you the current cable mess under my desk right now because i knew this project would be coming up and starting um this is the mess under my desk. This is all these cables that I just, first of all, I did have this managed, but then it kept falling down and then I tried wrapping it again. And then, you know, I just did a lot of cables. So I stopped caring for it like a month and a half ago because I knew I would be um, moving my computer. So now I can finally unplug every single peripheral from the rear of this machine. Um, and uh, get this thing moved to the server rack. I'm actually just gonna move it. Um, the computer is still in sleep mode, but SSDs are really resilient at keeping the stored data. So basically you can put it in sleep mode, turn the system off completely. You can just unplug it from wall power and you power it back on and the flash memory keeps, the, keeps your save state. It's amazing, I love SSDs. Um, so we are all unplugged. So that's the easy part. So let's go ahead and get this thing moved to the rack and then we can start pulling all of these cables to their respective location. So fun, fun. All right, we are almost cleaned up under here and I'll have a lot more space to relax and stretch my legs. So I'm, I've gotten all the cables, most of them are all uh, up on the desk. So uh, now I'm going to run the first monitor. This is the main monitor um, and run this to the server and uh, make sure this, or run this to the computer and, and make sure it actually connects and gets the signal and we're getting 60, 60 Hertz um, and 1080p. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Make sure we still have power. And I can't tell by the camera, but uh, let's see. Can I get, all right, not gonna worry about, yep, we got power. We got power, I can tell. Because this monitor, when I purchased it, if you wiggle the cable a certain way or you push it in too far, it actually th it turns the monitor off. So I'm thinking when I got this monitor, because this is a refurb, the power supply was a problem and they fixed it, but you know, they didn't fix it that well. You know, these refurb jobs, they fix them, but not enough to last it, you know, a lifetime. So anyway, we're going to run this monitor and then we'll get our hub plugged in and make sure this works. Okay, so I wanted to do a dry run. I just have the main screen and the TV plugged in. So I'm just gonna make sure the cables work and everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire up the system. That's on. We should be getting a display on the TV. Yep, it's a mess. But that's uh, what we're gonna get. We should be getting something over there. Um, maybe the monitor is turned off. Same cable I use to connect the TV up. Should be here.
Yeah, I think I unplugged it. Yep, that's what I did. I unplugged the monitor. Let's see. No signal. Oh, now I'm getting worried. Nope, never mind. Uh, it was the computer was stopped. Oh, no, look at that. Yeah, the computer was starting up. I didn't know. So, I guess in my case, when I powered off the system, the SSD didn't save it. Uh, but I've had it do that. I've had it save my um, um, my current state. Although I put it in the sleep state, after unplugging it, it kept the, the sleep state. Maybe it was off the power too long. I don't know. But uh, I don't know. It seems to be working. Uh, no peripherals are plugged in yet, but at least we know that the cables are working. So we can continue. Okay, now we have the uh, third monitor plugged in, but I'm scared that it won't be detected because it's it's plugged in. So there's a DVI to HDMI female adapter in it. I have the HDMI cable plugged into that. Then on the other end, it goes into a DVI port on the video card, um, which also has, which is also going into a HDMI to DVI so it can interface with the card. So I'm scared that this monitor won't come up because um, you know, the adapters and whatnot. So I'm gonna see if I can detect it. So it's showing three displays, but that third one's always gonna be blank if you don't have anything. So I have a feeling something. Oh, wait, I see Acer, it says Acer. Let's see, let's just extend this display. Um, no, extend. Oh, that's amazing. I'm sure they're in the wrong, like, location. Yeah, the mouse is going the wrong way, but that's fine. That's great. Okay, that works. All right, I think we are up and running. I have all, most, most of the video signals in, and I have all of the peripherals plugged in through that USB. through that USB hub. So, if I just play a song here, it's blinking because there's uh, audio activity. I'm gonna cover up that light, it's very annoying. But I got this little device, this like USB sound card, when um, I got a computer, my little tiny computer, um, when I deployed that, it was my old Media Center PC, um, it didn't have surround sound, so I got this to get surround sound. That's probably copyrighted music, so let me see if I can play something else. But anyway, there's audio. <laughs> so uh, we have all of the cables, most of, most of the cables routed. They're not tied up yet, but everything seems to be working. Video seems to be fluid. There seems to be no extreme latency. So we'll just go ahead and uh, continue running the cable and uh, We'll wrap everything up. Okay, um, before I start putting things back and tying wires up, there's a problem. This computer is sitting out here in this room on this rack. This room is not air conditioned and I can't afford to have an air conditioner run 24 seven. Uh, so this is what I'm going to do. I am going to change out um, a couple of the fans to alleviate some of the airflow and uh, probably throw an extra fan on the video card or facing the video card to bring in some uh, some cool air um, but all in all I plugged everything in and it just started working and it's amazing that this worked because you know my projects every time I have a project nothing works always a problem so let me replace a couple of these fans and then uh, I mean you gotta see this cable run it's insane so basically got cables coming from here here, here, got cables coming all along here, all along there, all along here. Now you don't need 50 feet to, to do this. 35 feet or 40 feet would have been enough. You know, I, I you know, it's better to be safe than sorry and um, I have a lot of HDMI cables running out here and I'm not even done yet. So, 
It's, it's working. I can't believe it. It's working. But I'm telling you, everything's working. Everything is uh, working without a hitch. And I opened up a forum on, um, see how that goes from there. Actually, we'll play a video. We'll just play their video. And you see how no loss in performance whatsoever. Oh, yeah. yeah, so it works great. I I couldn't be happier. Well, the monitor is not plugged in now, but turns out the issue was uh, a bad HDMI cable, so I just threw that one out. See, that HDMI cable that I plugged into this monitor was one of the earlier 50-foot HDMI cables that I purchased for the TV when it first got mounted on the wall. The thing is, the guy sent me the... Uh, HDMI cable in the mail, but it took five weeks to come. So I gave him a bad review because I asked him on the second week, where's my package? Never replied. Kept sending a message. Never got a reply back. Uh, a week before the package came, um, I wind up purchasing something from uh, Amazon. It came the next day and I'm like, yeah, I should have just spent my money here in the first place. So I gave him a bad review because he wasn't communicating. A week later, my package comes. He says, oh, uh, could you, I, could, if you retracted your bad review, I will give you a refund. I think we wind up retracting the review, but I never tested the cable. So that cable's bad, and um, I didn't spend that much money on it, but like, that cable felt like shit too. I've never felt a cable. It felt like barbed wire, and it was the cheapest or chintiest feeling. I, it's, 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 it was like this fake braided stuff. I'm like, is this the way they're supposed to feel now? But that was like some cheap shit. And obviously, there was something wrong with that cable. So, um, anyway, we are now starting to uh, Velcro things down. I'm just starting. And I have all of the monitors connected that are plugged in. My ViewSonic isn't plugged in. Because first of all, my ViewSonic IPS monitor is sitting in the closet for the summer. Because it blocks the uh, air conditioner. And... Um, um, well, yeah, that's the only reason. So anyway, let me let me complete this stuff here, and uh, we have to Velcro everything down all the way out the door. Look at this. It's coming from the wall just a little bit. That's going along the entire wall. Let's see how it comes under here and I'm actually gonna get that tacked onto the wall like that goes under this rug comes under here and then the mess is of course concealed behind this cage so it turned out a lot better and this is what the back of the system looks like it's still a hell of a lot less crowded than it used to be So, we're looking good. We are looking very, very good. So this is the USB hub I got. It's a 13 port USB hub, uh, USB 2.0, and it's a powered hub, which is very important for my application. So we're gonna take it out and uh, plug it in and see how it looks. This is not a bad looking USB hub. A little bright, but you know, I guess I, and the thing is you can actually turn, I guess these off. I don't know if you can turn the lights off or turn the ports off, but let's see. Yes, so you can actually turn the ports off by the first five and then the second six, excuse me. Uh, I just think the device has to come back online. It takes a bit, but yep, there's my mouse and my keyboard. So that's a pretty nice looking hub, wouldn't you think? It's all done. Well. It's not completely done. I still have to get one more HDMI cable, but for now, since I'm not needing the far right monitor, I'm going to use these four, three over here and one on the wall, but it's all done. I've got the USB 13 port USB hub here plugged in. This is how I'm able to interface with my computer as if I was in front of it. And uh, I am going to try, I know it's 1116, I should be in bed by now, it's a work night, 
but I should go ahead and try some video games, which I think I'm going to do to make sure that this latency is not a problem. Um, I mean, well, what latency? But you won't really see latency until you start playing games. So, yeah, this is working out pretty good. And absolute silence in here. Nothing but the hum of the monitors. <laughs> and I had to make a slight change. So if you look up there, I had to put my... Uh, wireless or excuse me my infrared receiver from my remote down on the uh, uh up there on the wall so i could just point it at the tv like i'm used to doing um to control uh this um npvr and actually since i'm here let's make sure it works so this is about what i'm looking at when i'm sitting on my bed so i Press the Windows remote, the Windows uh, media player button. Start playing TV, that's exactly what it should do. I should be able to turn it up as much as I want. Surround sound does work. I should be able to change channels. And it doesn't skip anymore, I fixed that problem. So, this is working, we should be able to go to the guide. Come on, where's the guide? Or maybe I go back to bring it up. There we go. And then TV guide. See, these buttons don't quite map to what you press. So, I may have to configure this a little bit more. But if I press live TV, nope, that doesn't work either. So, it's not perfect. I still have to, but it works. It, it's working and the computer is in the other room. So I finally have this thing on the shelf. I had a hell of a time trying to do it. I measured this out, not accurately, but I knew it would be kind of snug and it was snug. So the top of the case, cause it's got that stupid thin thing going on that makes no sense, um, was really, was rubbing up against this and I wound up ripping one of them off trying to put this in. Um, and, uh, but it's in, uh, the only thing is, I have to move this shelf up one click. Once I do that, um, then I'll be in great shape to move this machine around or pull it out for maintenance or whatever. But it's finally in its final resting place. I may have to pull it out again to install the fourth or the fifth HDMI cable to connect my far right monitor, which I always disconnect during the summer due to the fact that it blocks the air conditioner. So um, I won't really need to worry about that until late fall. So. That's why I take out the air kit. But anyway, this is, uh, it's in. And all the fans have been changed in this. Most of all of them have been changed. And as you can tell, it's pretty loud out here. I've actually got this other fan on because there's no air conditioning in this room. So I've, uh, kind of, um, I have fan controllers in all my systems. So those, these are the, this is the fan controller in this system. It's two fan controllers and there's a single fan controller in this system. To control the four fans or the well two fans because if this bay is not used plus the two in the back uh to keep everything cool um so anyway we are complete this project is considered complete at this time and uh i mean look you can tell how look at that because it has this let me so it has this thing here this sits on the side of the case to bring in the air to the hard drives but it takes up extra space when you're trying to mount it in such a small area. So you could tell this was not a fun, I had to take it off. This wasn't, this wasn't fun to get in, but it's in there and unfortunately I'll have to take it out three or four months from now, but what can you do? So we're completed. This is the first project that I've, you know, thought out and kind of, you know, gone over the pricing of it and the total cost of this project was much less than the original cost so if you want to run all of your peripherals from your room to your computer and you want to have access to the high speed USB 3 um, or anything faster than that you have to buy Thunderbolt components you need to buy a fiber cable and the numbers start 
it, it, it starts to add up very fast. I was already up to I think five or six hundred dollars after the cable, after the Elgato dock that you need. Um, it might have been four, four hundred, four fifty. Um, six hundred is just an exaggeration if I bought everything in SRP. This cost me, I want to say fifty-seven, maybe sixty bucks. It's going to cost me an extra, I think, ten bucks to get the next, to get the uh, uh, other HDMI cable. So we'll say it cost. Uh, 70 bucks probably 70 73 and I mean it's only USB 2 but I can later buy a longer USB 3 cable and get it working and get the uh, USB 3 peripherals like the um, like my iPhone which is really the only USB 3 thing I have uh, USB 2 is sufficient enough I can also put a hub right here and then just walk over to the system I'm not lazy so I can just get up walk over, plug in my flash drive, and I'm good. Um, so, we're done. Thanks for watching. Any questions or comments, ask me below. And uh, this is actually my system if you haven't seen it. It's all the stickers that I've put on it over the years, and I'm glad it's out of my room now. because it, it, it was pretty noisy with the other fans I had in it, but now it would be unbearable. So, we are good.